Investigadores e médicos da Suécia e da Dinamarca estudam há 10 anos as causas da infertilidade na Europa. A Euronews falou com o responsável do projeto ReproUnion. So actually the project was initiated in 2010 by two friends. They were also doctors and researchers, one from the Danish side and one from the Swedish side. And they work with uh, infertility for men and they wanted to do more for couples with problems with the reproductive health. It is one of the um, most common diseases for people from 25 to 45 years of age and it's increasing. This is also more general. Also for many European countries the fertility is going down and we need to have more than two children per woman in order to sustain uh, the population that we have today and this is what we see in many countries in Europe. The Rubik cohort which is very unique. I, I, I believe that it is the only place in Europe where we have a binational cohort of infertile couples. So it would be really amazing if we could also start uh, collecting these data from other countries. And in addition, it would be very good to also have collection of data from fertile couples so that we both have data on the healthy population in combination with infertility problems.